Well, I thought it was about time I made a video for me viewers. So here we are in what I laughably refer to as my shop with uh, heavily accented inverted commas for postmodern irony. So let's have a look around. So moving over to the workbench, which um, to call it a workbench is somewhat laughable given the surface area I've actually got to work on, most of which is due to the fact that it's a lot of real estate on here is being taken up by storage of things that I'm using. So I've got the two rotary tables there, one of which has got a stepper motor on it. Uh, I've got my drills and socketry, various bits and pieces. Um, Purely down to the fact that I don't have much room to put these things. Um, I've got two brand new tool cabinets coming next week, so that should take care of that. Tool board, which is going to be going. Um, all these tools will be going into the new tool cabinets, uh, which hopefully should arrive next week. There's the Chester Mill, uh, the old workhorse, which has been doing sterling work for refurbishing the Harrison Mill. Again, um, a lot of consumables and things stored on the on the the drip tray, uh, purely because I don't have anywhere else to put them. Down here as well, a lot of boxed bits and pieces, uh, tool sets that will be going into the new cabinets once they arrive. There's the motor from the um, from the Harrison Mill down there, which is being converted to Delta and should be ready to go once I get everything up and running. Um, storage which I bought for nuts and bolts just sitting there pointlessly um, new workbench coming next week as well which we'll get to in a minute so they should be getting fixed to the wall um, above the new workbench these are uh, plastic storage cabinets I've had these for years since the old workshop um, they're going to be going soon as well um, everything will be transplanted into the new toolboxes Likewise with these two small cabinets, one of them has got small rounds and um, just bits and pieces off cuts of stock that I use if I just need a small piece of um, round bar or something like that to make something. Um, taps and dies and milling cutters, reamers, things like that in that one, drills. Um, just temporarily sitting on there is my V-block set and my parallels because I was using them recently. Uh, what have we got? There's the uh, less said about that, the better. Um, it's in uh, advanced stages of decrepitude at the moment. Uh, hopefully we'll get the thing up and running at some point in the not too distant future. The lathe, Harrison M250. Um, in the process of replacing the uh, cross slide scale at the moment. I did have a magnetic scale on there but I wasn't too happy with it. it. It just seemed quite jittery so I've replaced it with or I'm in the process of replacing it with a, a glass scale. Um, just the uh, just the reed head to fit onto there or to, to fix onto the uh, the saddle and then make a, a guard for that and that should be pretty much done. Um, this lathe's got a VFD on it. Um, I had to rebuild the control panel. Um, I tried to make it look as uh, as Harrison-esque as I possibly could in, in keeping with the age of the machine, which is from the 1980s. So I tried to make it look reasonably... Um, I tried to get it to blend in reasonably well with the existing controls. The VFD on this machine is mounted uh, at the back. In this position and then all the cables are run through conduit to the various places where they need to go. Uh, DRO on this obviously as I've already mentioned that's been on there for a couple of years now. Um, I did originally document that on the uh, MIG welding forum so I'm, I'm doing a little write-up on the on the conversion to the glass scale on there as well. Um, again another cabinet on here which is uh, full of turning tools and lathe related bits and pieces which will be transplanted into one of the new toolboxes and I've got all my uh, my very small poultry collection of Dixon uh, tool holders up there with a few bits and pieces mounted in them. There's the compressor <clears throat> with the engine crane behind it. Um, like a lot of people my workshop is also 
being used for storage. So there's a, a child car seat perched on top of the engine crane there for some bizarre reason. Um, the compressor is taking up quite a lot of space at the moment, but I intend to put that underneath the new bench when that comes. Which also, in keeping with the new toolboxes, should be here next week. So there we've got the... Um, that's the... Uh, the, the, the splash guard for the Harrison M250 just lying down there at the moment whilst I work on the uh, DRO. Um, that's my, um, my welding table which has been used quite a lot in the past um, but it's not really um, ideal to be honest with you to use as a workbench. I have been using it to refurbish some of the parts of the, uh, the Harrison mill. You can see the, the table lying on top of there at the moment. Um, what I really need to do is to get, as I say, this bigger workbench installed so that I can really start to tackle some of the bigger uh, bits and pieces on the mill. I just don't have enough space at the moment to work on heavy uh, and large assemblies. Um, for example, this um, on the knee here, th this, uh, this knee um, shaft assembly has to come out. Uh, you can see inside there the state that's in there. Just that's supposed to be a set of skew gears in there, but uh, absolutely horrendous, just covered in swarf and detritus. And then the nut down here for the um, for the lead screw has got a big chip out of it and a crack. So I need to make uh, not the nut, rather the um, the actual retaining uh, bush for the nut or the retaining uh, bucket. So I have to make a new one of those in order to do that. I'm going to have to remove this um, lead screw assembly and the drive. Uh, the gearbox, uh, I intend to leave alone as much as I can, just clean it out and um, just uh, give it a good uh, once over, make sure everything's all right. I don't really want to start changing bearings in that unless I absolutely have to. Likewise with the, uh, the vertical head as well. Um, I did change out all the bearings um, uh, in the feed gearbox. Um, purely because I had it all in pieces, so I decided to do it, but I want to leave the gearbox reasonably intact if I can. Um, so we've got here the, the welding equipment, RTEC, um, uh, AC, DC TIG, uh, TIG 201, which is um, a fairly common uh, piece of equipment. A lot of people that um, do YouTube videos on it have got these types of things. Um, it's the older version of um, the, the digital one that they brought out later on. Down there as well, I've got a plasma cutter, which hasn't seen much use, to be quite honest with you. And my little um, Aldi bandsaw, which is, um, it punches well above its weight, let's put it that way. It's done a lot of sterling work for me, that thing has. Um, what, there's my Swindon's vice, which has just been, I've, I've refurbished that sort of last year, around about this time last year, and... Um, that's waiting to get fitted to the new bench when it arrives. So the new bench, um, which we've spoken about quite a lot, is going to go in this in this area here. So roughly roughly where that pallet um, edge is, all the way up to um, the door frame there. Um, so the the plan is that um, the welding equipment is going to go on a shelf underneath the uh, the new bench uh, with the bottle, the argon bottle um, set up at the side, and then the compressor which we looked at earlier on. That's going to go underneath the new bench as well, which is going to free up um, this area here, which I suspect I'm going to put the um, one of the workbench, uh, one of the um, toolboxes rather there. And that um, engine crane will probably go back in my shed. Okay, so um, the other toolbox is going to end up in that area there, which is currently being occupied by those... Um, those plastic uh, storage drawers but I think I'm gonna have to there's an entire raft of junk and bits and pieces on these uh, shelves that a lot of which doesn't need to be there so I'm gonna have to have a really good clear out and get rid of some of that so I can store some things on the shelving that I put in um, several years ago now uh, so that's uh, that's about all I've got to show you today um, hopefully when I get the new bench in you can have a look and see what that looks like I'm really hoping that um, I'm going to transform the way I use the space in here because um, there's a lot of wasted space at the moment and um, I know I could have put up extra shelving to store some of these bits and pieces but I wanted to actually do workshop type things when I'm in here rather than trying to prep stuff. Arguably if I'd prepped everything and storage wise got it 
where I wanted it earlier, it would have been easier to work in. Uh, but uh, there you go. You live and learn. So uh, I shall leave you uh, with uh, a view of the Harrison lathe. And um, I hope to um, give you another update in the near future regarding the, uh, the state of this place, which hopefully should be slightly better than it is now. Okay, thank you for watching.